Hey, what's happening, guys? DX Porker here with you. Um, super, still super stoked. I just opened up the the gift I got from Gunwild One. I can't get that off my mind, so hopefully I can get uh, through this uh, Ruger video here. But just one more time, just to show you, check it out. I love it. I love it. Going in the EDC rotation today. But anyhow, back to the the video at hand. Picked up this Ruger LC9 there for national buy a gun day and uh, I wanted to go to the range today and and not shoot any video just go and have a relaxing time I had the day to myself and I wanted to take advantage of it and, and go up and play with uh, my new toy but uh, I'm I'm a bit disappointed I don't know if uh, it's the gun or if it's me what I mean, I'm no professional by any means, but this gun is just not accurate at all. I don't know if you can tell it or not looking through the camera, but the front sight is much higher than the back sight. Uh, I shot a hundred rounds of Winchester white box, 115 grain, and I could not hit the broad side of a barn if I was standing beside of it. Out of 100 rounds shot at an 8 inch shoot and see target at 5 yards 15 feet I hit that 8 inch shoot and see target 14 times and I could not for the life of me figure out what was going on and I still am not you know convinced of what the problem is but like I said, uh, you know, I, I was shooting from the uh, standing position, and I have three magazines, and I shot three and didn't even hit it once. I'm like, what the crap? So I decided to go to the bench, and I sat down on the bench and used a bag, and shot with the bag, and still nothing. Uh, and again, I don't know if you can see the sight there, but the front sight is, is much higher than the back sight. So what I started doing was I'd put the front sight above the top of the 8 inch shoot and see target and I actually could hit it. I'm not for sure how off that is but that that's pretty excessive at such a short distance. Um, I don't know if anyone else's it is empty no magazine in it. Just to make everybody happy there but I don't know if that's normal or not, but there's a lot of slack in the in the barrel there. I mean, I know some would be normal, but I know you can see that there's there's quite the gap in there, and you can see it rattle back and forth. And also, the barrel is loose and it wobbles back and forth. So, you know, my question to you guys that that have these LC9s are you experiencing any of this slide play I mean look at it you can see it sliding back and forth there I jumped on a forum and just to uh, see if anybody else was having any sort of problems and you know several people said they had to send them back that there was an issue with the front sight and the barrel and you know Ruger replaced them it's the first firearm I've purchased that I've had uh, major issue out of of course it's Saturday can't do anything about it so I have to call uh, Ruger up Monday morning and uh, see what the deal is you know I know that the side to side is normal and I'll compare it here to my EDC Glock of course you know you see it is a much tighter fit and this gun is loaded by the way so I'm not gonna put my hand near the trigger but you know there is a slight side to side and there's no no gapage in there but uh, there is a huge huge gap in there and you know the, it goes up and down and side to side to a several amount of dist uh, distance there so I'm not happy so needless to say I'm gonna have to give Ruger a call on Monday and see what they say but uh, man the gun feels really good and you know it's got good control on it it doesn't have a lot of recoil. I was extremely surprised with that. 
like I said, 100 rounds, and I shot an 8 inch shoot and see target. I hit it 14 times at 5 yards. And that is absolutely pitiful. I know you guys have seen some of my shooting videos, and like I said, I'm no professional, but I am much better than that. And uh, so I'm in, in hopes that there's some issue here in the in the barrel or the slide or something with the front sight. But uh, like I said, I'll call them on Monday and see what they say. But if you guys got any comments or suggestions, feel free to to put them below there. But first impressions is not a happy camper. But that's it. And one more time. Thank you, my brother Jeff. That is awesome. I can't get over it. Even though the gun was a big letdown today, this this made up for it. I can look past this because you know they'll either get it fixed or we'll get rid of it. One of the two. But this here baby is all mine, and I love it. So take care, guys. Y'all have a good weekend. What's left of it? God bless. And it is what it is. The, 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 and that's all, folks.